in this new lesson we will see one more of Moodle's security features the ability to block specific IP addresses I have navigated to site administration security IP blocker page I'm going to start this lesson by saying that you need to be very careful in using this feature it is easy to block yourself out of the site and get into difficulty on this page if you make simple inadvertent errors there are two specific use cases when you might want to block IP addresses. The first situation is if your site is being attacked in some way and you look at your server logs and identify the IP addresses where these attacks are originating from. In that case, you would want to totally block those IP addresses. This is one situation. The second example would be when you want to allow access to your site from a very specific set of locations and users. This is also possible from this same page. Now, this page has a very simple interface. There are two big list boxes where IP addresses can be entered one at a time. For example, like this. The first one is for allowed IP address and the second one is for blocked IP addresses. You can use these two in any combination that you choose. You can use only this or this or both or in any combination. The IP list itself can either be a single address or a partial address or a range. Examples are given in this descriptive text which you can see and create a list yourself. Once an address is saved in the block list, then any HTTP requests hitting the server will be automatically blocked. If you accidentally added your own IP address there, you would get blocked out. Conversely, if there is any IP address in the allowed box, then the server will block out the entire world except for the address in the allowed box. So potentially this can be even more damaging if you make an error. Suppose you accidentally put your own IP address in the blocked list, then you will get blocked out. However, you can log in from some other IP location, for example, from your home or mobile phone, and you can revert the situation. If you mistakenly added a bad IP address in the allowed box instead of the block box, then you would have effectively blocked yourself out while giving full access to the other. So, while this feature can be very useful, use it with a lot of caution, having carefully planned out your action. So, before I end this lesson, let me mention that I have added a PDF file in the resources section of this course, which will help if someone blocks themselves out. 